I'm not just going to be like, okay, I'm God gifted speed. I'm God gifted strength. I'm God gifted bend. You're going to have to play me. It's a game within a game. I think that's where I should see that a lot of the times because I don't just bring one thing to the table. I have an arsenal of things that I can do. Sometimes I'm, I'm a really, really fast guy. I have a great get off. But sometimes I might stutter off the line and you'll be like, oh, snap. This time last year, we sat in these chairs. Well, they were in Vegas, not here. But we sat in these chairs, and we told all of you that Kobe Turner was going to be incredible in the NFL. This year, please listen to us when we say that Muhammad Kamara is going to be incredible in the NFL. Did you know, by the way, that you were number two in all of college football, like every Division I program, FBF, SC, FCS, every conference, you were number two out of 436 teams in pressures last year. I'm sure it felt like it, but... I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, didn't know that. I mean, no, because last year I was, I was high in pressures. I think I was like four or five or six, somewhere like that, and I didn't, I didn't like it. I don't like pressures. I'm not going to lie to you. The reason well, you got I, a lot of sacks, too. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think last year I had so many, so many pressures, but I only had eight and a half sacks, you know, and just you know, putting my best foot forward and learning from my mistakes and um, watching the film. I had 13 and a half this year. So, I mean, if I would have came back another year, which I'm not, <laughs> yeah. um, I would have got even more sacks. But, you know, that's just how it is. So, pressures, yeah. pressures are not the thing for me. That, that's just how I look at it. Like, finishing. Finishing, finishing is your finishing. thing. We love both. We love pressures and we appreciate pressure as a stat, uh, both in college and the pros, but we also love the attitude. If I get there, I want to finish it. Talk about your speed around the edge and particularly your bend, because it's a combination of speed and bend for me when I watch right. your tape that really sort of grabs my eye and says, that's different. There's a lot of guys, a lot of ways to get there, you know that, a lot of ways to win getting to the quarterback, but you've got bend, and mm -hmm. bend is this rare sort of unobtainium quality. People keep saying that. Yeah. yeah, no, you've got bend. It stands out in this class. How'd you develop that? Was that something you always had? I don't know. I just, uh, maybe I always had it. I, I don't know. You know, <laughs> it was crazy. I was talking to one coach, and I was doing this drill. I was talking to one coach, and I was doing this drill, and he said, uh, you're never gonna, you're never gonna be that low to the ground. And I looked at him, I was like, you didn't watch my film. Yeah, <laughs> watch. You know me. what I mean? You didn't watch my film. So like, um, to him, it's, un it's unattainable. To me, I, I can do it. So like, and I work on that every day. You know what I mean? I work on it all the time. So it's not like something I thinking about it. It's not something I just you know magically happened and I was magically gifted with. Nothing and nothing that I produce on the field is something that I was magically gifted with. Like I had to get fast. I had to get strong. Not tall, what everybody keeps saying, but you know, <laughs> a player taller than life. Hey, neither is Shaq Barrett. Hey, also Colorado yeah. State. You know, you know he's having a, an incredible career. Right, made a lot of money, got a lot of sacks, like a lot of sacks. And it's so funny. You talk to offensive tackles that are six, 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 seven. You know who they hate blocking? Us. You. Yeah, because I'm going to. I can touch the floor. Like I yes. can run full <laughs> speed and touch the floor. And you know that's something. Of course, I got. I'm always working on and. Sometimes it's like, oh, he's a great offensive lineman, and you gotta go face him. No, he has to face me. You know, that's my that's my mentality. Like, a lot of these guys gotta come face me. So I don't care what you have on your, what decal you have. You know, what is your stats? What is your statistics? What is your measurables? You gotta come. You have to come block. Me. You have to. The thing that really sticks out to me on, on film, when when I watch you, and I I messaged Yishe about it probably like 2:30 a.m. one night, and I was like, oh my god, you know, when I was going through all your cutups is you have a, a rare ability a lot of guys your age don't have to tie your feet to your hips mm -hmm. and that's how you finish so well right because yeah. you're not like you, you got to point your hips at the quarterback to get yeah. there like your body's going to go where your hips are pointed and you were throwing these cross traps around the edge it honestly looked a lot like Shaq Barrett mm -hmm. where when you're kind of doing that that sidestep you can see your hips crank as you're going like yeah. I, it, it's so rare to see guys your age do that and have that ability to work your hips and your feet at different angles simultaneously yeah. How long did it take you to learn how to do that? It's still, it's, I'm still learning. It's, it's really, really hard because there's times, where, like I said, there's times where I can touch the floor, I feel good, and there's times where I'm not even close. So it's, it's, really, it's, it's really hard, you know, and I'm trying to get to a point where I can master it and I can do it every single time, you know. Um, I'm trying to be a guy that, you know, can touch the floor every single time that you're going to have to come down to my level, you know, and you're going to have to play me at, you know, my strengths, you know what I mean? Um, 
So uh, it's really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm constantly. It looks hard. hard. I'm it looks hard. Constantly working on it every time. Sometimes people are like, "How did you do that?" I don't know. I can't tell. Sure. I can't tell. You. But it comes from the work, and I appreciate that dedication and craft of. I'm still working. I don't know. I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm getting better. It's hard. I don't always hit it. Like all of those sort of workmanlike mentality of I'm not just here with a gift. Yeah. I'm doing what I can to make it happen. What are you working on right now as we're moving towards the combine and the draft? What's what's next? What's that top thing you go into training thinking every day? I got to get a little bit better at this. Um, right now, you know, I'm you know I got invited to the um, combine. So right now, I'm just trying to run fast. You know, jump high jump far and that's all i'm working sure. on right now um after this we're probably not i'm not going to play football for a little bit so I'm, I'm going to put that to rest um all my moves to rest and just work on how to run how to run fast you know what i mean i'm trying to run fast and just you know uh enjoy my experience too so for sure another little nitty-gritty film question i have for you and again something i don't see a lot of college rushers do mm-hmm. i'm trying to remember the game i'll probably i'll probably find it in my cut ups on my hard drive but there's a few reps that I saw where you're standing up and all of a sudden you switch your feet. Mm-hmm. Is that because you you see something and you're like, I need to switch what move I'm doing and I need to hit it off the right foot? Like, yeah. what, what, what's what's your thought process when you're switching your feet? What's that? I mean, switching my feet, you, you step like, sometimes it's a counting game and sometimes like, there's a difference between, let's say, the long arm, right? There's mm-hmm. a difference mm-hmm. between hitting it with your inside foot and your right hand compared to hitting it with your outside foot in your, in your right hand. Yeah. You know, that's a different type of power. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's also certain moves you can do with, like, switching your feet. Um, let's say I'm too fast, I'll switch my feet to slow it up. Let's say I'm too slow, I'll switch my feet to, you know, speed it up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, shout out to my coach. He, he taught me ways to do that. You know what I mean? He allowed me to do that. Um, he gave me the blessing. Um, and... It's just different ways to think about it. Like, pass rushing is like, the way I think about it is like um, boxing match and dancing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, up up top, you're always moving your hands. Like, I'm always throwing that jab. I'm always trying to get my hands. But, like, down low, you you dancing. You got to know how to move your feet. Like, any tackle can just put their arm out and just take away from what I have to do. Um, just because everybody's going to be taller than me. And um, I have to beat them to the spot. I have to turn the corner so they don't they're not able to throw their arm out, you know, um, and then use their length. I have to beat them to where they can't use their length. They can't use their, you know, the God given gifts. Mm-hmm. So if you're getting different sets from tackles, you might be like, Okay, I gotta hit this on the outside leg, yes. but they're going vertical, they're not jumping on me, so I gotta I gotta yeah, switch definitely. the timing of it. Yeah. It will be very dumb if a if a tackle jumps me. Like it can it usually happen. doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. It can happen, of course. You know, I can get beat. Yeah, I can. Sure. I can definitely can. But it, it'll be dumb if you do that. You know what I mean? It's better. It's better for you to. And then it's sometimes it's like, okay, most tackles. Most times I'm gonna get. I'm gonna um, get V set it or vertical set, just because I'm a speed guy, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. So if I'm getting, a, let, let's say this is a, a guy that wants to go really, really vertical, I might switch up my feet and just run right through him because if you're going straight back, the quarterback is like two yards behind you. I say you're being honest, you know, you got a V setter, you know, I can, I got to be a little bit more creative and I got to beat you to, to the spot. But once I get, once I get to the side of you, I'm just turning the corner of things I do all the time. I'm not just going to be like, okay, I'm God gifted speed. I'm God gifted strength. I'm God gifted bend. You're going to have to play me. Like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a game within a game. You know what I mean? So I think that's where I should see that a lot of the times because I don't just bring one thing to the table. You know what I mean? I don't just bring two things to the table. I have an arsenal of things that I can do. Um, me personally, I try to keep it simple, but there's it's a, it's a lot of things I can do. Like sometimes I'm I'm a really, really fast guy. I have a great get off. But sometimes I might stutter off the line and you'll be like, oh, snap. And you're past me and I can go inside. Like You did that against Colorado. You hit, yeah. you hit that inside shoulder with long arm and just like, I'm just going to go through it. Exactly. So <laughs> like there's different things like you always got to, it's, it's, it's always something like, there's always something I can do to win. You know what I mean? And I'm, I was blessed to play all four downs. You know, mm-hmm. I was blessed to play the whole game. Um, not every not every team is going to allow me to play all four okay. downs. You know what I mean? So, and when the teams that allow me to play third down, you know, I have to find a way to win um, those third downs, the, mini, the limited plays I'm in. So, it's diff- in different ways. Like, when I was playing all four downs, I was able to, like, play chess, you know what I mean, and play within a game within a game. I can do that, but, you know, there's different ways to go about it. I love that. 
I'm over here smiling at your boxing analogy because our podcast listeners say I talk about boxing too much. I'll have you know, people that know talk about boxing too. People who people who know football and know my position, you got to keep you got to keep your hands all right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, it's tying your top to your bottom. Yeah, I love the idea. Of, you know, kind of I was thinking about do. you were talking about slowing down a pass rush with your feet, and I'm thinking about choking up on a bat. See, I can do baseball too. <laughs> you know, it's a way to vary it. And I love that you said, you know, your coach gave you his blessing to say, hey, you run this how you want to run. Like, mm-hmm. we're going to go, we're going to see, we're going to see how they react. And then I'm giving you the freedom to say, I got it. I'm going to do the opposite thing. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm going to win. That continual yeah. sort of, and I'm going to do the next thing. It's not just, well, I got one move. You see a lot of guys, especially young pass rushers, got one move, threw my move. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. over. And it's I mean, not like that with you. I mean, and me personally, like, and the way we work, me and my coach, is like, we watch film. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this move, this move, this move, this move. All right, how'd I look? Okay, you can you do that. You can do that. You can't do that. You can do that. Yeah. So that's the blessing he gives me. You know, I got to play within the scheme, of course. You know what I mean? Can't right. be out there just spinning and spinning. To, you know what I mean? I can't be <laughs> yeah. doing that. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's more like, okay, I like, I like this with this move. I like this on this side. You know what I mean? It's just a game within a game, you know? Um, so, but then I also have go-tos that I, I can just do one move. Like, if I can run right past you, I'm going to run right past you. Sure. Football's always going to be that way. If you can win on the first thing and they can't stop it, hey, I'm just keep at it. <laughs> if I'm going to run through his face, I'm going to run through his face. Yeah. It's the preparedness, though, that, that really matters. And anytime yeah. we talk to NFL veterans, especially once at the top of their game, like, that's one of the first things I always talk about. It's like, yeah, I showed up prepared. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. I, I, that's me personally. Like, um, that for me personally, like, not to make fun of the Bulls, the only downfall for me um, is because I didn't prepare all year for the guys that I'm facing. You know what I mean? That's the only downfall, and that don't have nothing to do with anybody. That's just how life works. Mm-hmm. Um, regardless of what it is, I got to go out. I got to go out there and eat. You know what I mean? Um, you know? I'm gonna watch my film. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna find ways to get better. But um, I usually like to work all year for 12 games, and hopefully, um, how many games are in 17? 17. 17. Yeah, so hopefully, I'm all. <laughs> it's year a long for 17 season. Games, you know? yeah. Well, hopefully so, 20. Yeah, hopefully hope, 20. Yeah, there hopefully you go. 20. You know what I mean? Other so, than Shaq Barrett, you know, which is the obvious one, are there any uh, edges in the NFL that you watch to get inspiration from? I mean, Hassan Reddick, he does a great job of using his hands too. Yeah, you know, he doesn't, you know. He has his motor. That's something that you know a lot of people say about me that um, I truly, I truly enjoy. Like there's, a, there's a couple times. I mean, I think it was the Utah State game or I forgot what game. Like tackle got a jump on me um, and I fell on the ground, but the play is still going. So I get up. And, you know, I make the sack. Um, it's stuff like that. Like never giving up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I've seen him, seen the same thing happen to him. Tackle got a jump on him. He falls down, rolls and everything, gets up, gets the sack. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's stuff like that that, you know, separates him from everybody else. And that's the reason why they're paying him a lot. That's the reason why he's starting, and that's the reason why he is the person that he is. So, Howie, if you're listening, yeah, <laughs> we got another one for you. Right, they just Philly. keep stacking up. <laughs> and Reddick's a great one because his career has not been all of that. Mm-hmm. And if he had given up early – because the usage wasn't right or the results weren't there or whatever, if he'd stopped working, he wouldn't have seen the success right. that he has now. And he's, you know, he's got tremendous success now, tremendous. but it wasn't always that way. And it's, again, that work, that preparation, that mindset. I'm going to be ready when the, when the opportunity comes. I'm going to have done my work mm-hmm. and be able to seize it. And What's I see that? the same thing in you, and I think that points towards a great career. You guys had a great program. Mm-hmm. I call it, I mean, still have a great program. There's still a lot of guys left on that team. But in terms of ones that are coming out next year, mm-hmm. that's going to be in this chair this time next year, who is it? Right. Um, I think it will be Henry and Jack, Chase. I know Cam is coming out next year. Uh, was, those are the guys that are. I think they're going to be coming out next year. And I'm just, Oh, uh, Tori is coming out next year. I, know I was surprised he out. didn't come out this year. I'm surprised, too. <laughs> but, you I mean, know, he, he could have. He, he made the he made the choice. You know, yeah. that's him. Um, and he's he's gonna do well. He's gonna be number one in all in everything. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. So, you know, win or lose, he's gonna be good. Um, who else is coming out? 
Well, that's a bunch, and we can start there. Yeah, so. that's for, I mean, that's the thing. It's a stacked team. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a hell of a year. Uh, I personally cannot wait to see where you go, and I'm sure there's a bunch of, well, literally across the hall, there's a bunch of NFL scouts that are waiting to talk to you. It's not going to keep you too long, but uh, we cannot wait to see your destination. We Thank can't you. wait to see you ball out because uh, we are very confident that Thank you're going to be uh, our next guy every single year that we do, where it's Thank like, you. yeah, we tried to tell you a Shrine Bowl, like he's really good. And Thank you. Thank you. Then you're going to be really good. Thank, Thank you for showing. Thanks for taking time, Mo.